Fantastic Hal now fully supports attendee availability. Now, attendee availability is a calendar function that looks at the calendars of your friends or coworkers and lets you know when they're also available. In order for this function to work, you've got to be in a calendaring system that supports it, like Google Calendars does, Microsoft Exchange, and most implementations of CalDev. iCloud Calendar, however, does not support it. So let's see it in action. All right, let's create an appointment so I can show you calendar availability. I'm going to set a meeting for March 22nd, and it'll be 10 to 11, and I'll call it the Logo Design Meeting. And uh, I need to put it into an Exchange calendar because that supports attendee availability where iCloud does not. And I need to invite a friend. So I'm going to hit the down arrow and go to the Invitee field. Now in Fantastical, you can add an invitee by just typing the name. So I'm going to add my friend Kent. And you can see as I started typing Kent's name, his name just showed up. So I'll hit the down arrow and the return key. And now he's on the invitee list. And immediately, Fantastical will give me some feedback. Now, Kent is also on an Exchange account, so it has his attendee availability as well. And there's a little X next to his name, and that's telling me that Kent is not available when I set that meeting. So if I go down here and click on Check Availability, you'll see this nice uh, kind of graph that shows availability. I'm using Michael's account, and you can see I'm unavailable uh, from about noon to 2.45 because, you know, we take long lunches in my company. And then there's Kent's availability below, and he's unavailable from 7 to 1 p.m. So I can drag this appointment out of that unavailability and put it right there, and you'll see that the icon next to Kent's name changed to a check mark, which means he is available. You can also see while I did that that it automatically updated in the background here on the screen. Uh, so this is just a great way to find availability. I can cycle through the days if I want. So you can see the various availability that Kent has. Um, in addition to showing the all-day calendar, I can also have it just show the work hours, which sometimes makes it a little more visible. I can even have it show the next available time. So if I go back here to this Tuesday and I put the meeting in the morning, and I click on Next Availability, it'll jump the appointment right up here to about 2.45 after my long lunch. And you'll see it did it there and both over here on the screen. If you would like to get a bigger view, just click on this icon right there and it opens a bigger view that fills the screen. Once again, this is showing all day, but I could also have it show just work hours if I wanted. And let's say I'm gonna go to Wednesday now. And Kent is busy, it looks like he's got a lunch appointment. So I'm going to move over here within these dotted lines, which indicate availability. And I'm going to click on 1 p.m. And when I do that, just watch down here and you'll see the event will jump over to Wednesday at 1 p.m. And we've still got that check mark, so everything's good. If I'd put it in the noon hour, you'll see that the check mark would again turn to an X and I would know that Kent's unavailable. So I'll go ahead, once again, move it to one o'clock. I've set the meeting at a time that everybody's available. And I can close that out and hit Add Event. And I've sent the invitation off to Kent awaiting his approval. Another interesting trick with these group event calendars in Exchange is when you delete them, uh, you can send a message. So I'm going to go ahead and now delete this. So Kent's going to get a note from me saying that the appointment's been deleted. And with Exchange, I have the ability to send a cancellation message. So I'll go ahead and hit the check mark there and say, not yet logo isn't done. When I press the delete button, it'll send a message to Kent canceling the meeting and explaining to him why. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it's done. If you work in a team, attendee availability is crucial and now it's fully supported in Fantastical.